the best Saturday Night Live cast members of all time. While Lorne Michaels' NBC sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live has admittedly had its ups and downs over the years, there's no doubting its impact on the pop culture zeitgeist. The show has launched some of our most beloved comedians, many of whom would continue on to dominate screens big and small after gracing the SNL stage. From the old guard like Eddie Murphy and Tina Fey to current cast members like Kate McKinnon and Keenan Thompson, the wealth of talent that has graced that New York City stage is like no other. We can still feel the impact of co-stars who have long since left the SNL stage behind, including those who have passed away, like Chris Farley, Gilda Radner, and John Belushi. With each season comes episodes that get a little more modern, introduce us to a new comedian, and push the envelope further than before. Staples like Weekend Update and one-off viral sketches keep the series afloat, as do current players like Leslie Jones and Pete Davidson. Here's a look back at the best SNL cast members of all time. Kate McKinnon Years active, 2012 present Once in a blue moon, an SNL star is born and immediately makes a name for themselves as a comedic force to be reckoned with, and Kate McKinnon is no exception. Since her debut in 2012, McKinnon has become one of the most formidable cast members on Saturday Night Live, constantly delivering spot-on political impressions. Recent hits include Jeff Sessions and Rudy Giuliani, but her stint as Hillary Clinton during the 2016 election season was a real crowd-pleaser. McKinnon is a seemingly fearless performer, giving her all as the most outlandish characters like her Close Encounters portrayal of an alien abduction survivor that left everyone in stitches. She makes even the dullest nights on SNL worth watching. Keenan Thompson. Years active, 2003 present. As the longest tenured cast member in SNL's 44 seasons, Keenan Thompson has rightfully earned his spot in the Players Hall of Fame. With his roles in sketches like Black Jeopardy and What Up With That, Thompson has become one of the strongest and most indispensable cast members in the show's history. The seasoned vet has left his mark on the show as a go-to lead for any sketch and is showing no sign of leaving behind his well-built repertoire of late-night work anytime soon. Everything from his singing role as a diner lobster to his recent R. Kelly impression have added up to a righteous career on Saturday Night Live for Thompson. Until another cast member gets 16 seasons under their belt, he'll continue to reign supreme. Bill Hader Years active, 2005-2013 SNL's hottest cast member is Bill Hader. This guy has everything an arsenal of impressions, hilarious original characters, and occasional cameos that leave us reminiscing on the eight seamlessly funny seasons he spent on the show. After being discovered by Megan Mullally during a backyard improv show, Hader landed a featured player's spot and became known for his niche yet killer impressions. While his portrayal of the out-of-touch club kid Stephon on Weekend Update remains his piece de resistance, it was often Hader's inability to keep his composure during the silliest skits that made us want to laugh along. Eddie Murphy Years active, 1980-1984. Murphy brought some color to the SNL cast back in the early 80s, where he began to make a name for himself. In only four seasons, Murphy introduced the public to some of the series' most memorable characters and sketches, including Buckwheat, Mr. Robinson, Gumby, James Brown, and even an investigative report that had him going undercover in whiteface to experience life as a Caucasian dude. From day one, Murphy's definitive edge set him apart from the pack. We're looking forward to seeing more of it in the coming year. Will Ferrell. Years active, 1995 to 2002. The groundling improv troupe member turned SNL star was as versatile as they come, lighting up the screen during his stay on the series. It's hard not to think of Ferrell over and over while brainstorming the show's best sketches, from jackasses like George Dubia Bush, The Roxbury Guys, and Robert Goulet to comes announcer Harry Karai and fictional cowbell player Gene Frankel. Farrell always managed to command attention and make viewers spit out drinks with his fearless, over-the-top approach to roles that made him a quintessential member of the team. Tina Fey Years active, 2000-2006 Before Tina Fey added New York Times bestseller and Emmy award-winning comedy creator to her resume, she served as SNL's head writer, the first woman in history to secure the spot. While Fey didn't take on the same number of characters as her colleagues, she was able to do more with less. Her appearances as co-anchor of Weekend Update earning her frequent praise from critics. Additionally, her stint as Sarah Palin while the then-Alaskan governor was on the campaign trail became of one of the most famous impressions on the show and is rumored to have helped alter the course of the election. Amy Poehler Years active, 
It was only a matter of time before Amy Poehler, who'd been cracking us up since 2001, blew up and moved on to bigger things. Since shifting over to her starring role in Parks and Recreation, Poehler has been honored with Emmy and Golden Globe nods. But her imitations will go down in Saturday Night History as some of its best. The actress committed heart and captured the mannerisms of political figures and music icons alike to a freaking teeth. There was no holding it together that night she and Tina Fey reenacted Sarah Palin's interview with Katie Couric. Gilda Radner Years active, 1975-1985 Paving the way for future funny-ass women on SNL was the original queen of comedy, Gilda Radner. As an og not ready for primetime player, Radner remains one of the most influential and beloved cast members who ever graced the Saturday Night Live stage. Her work has been long revered including characters like the exuberant Roseanne Rosanna Dana on Weekend Update and the nerdy Lisa Lunder, and her ability to keep up with the boys at a time when funny women weren't getting their due made her a standout performer. Even 30 years after her death, Radner's captivating comedic chops are enviable. John Belushi Years active, 1975-1979 An original member of the SNL cast, John Belushi was another of the show's comics who became a legend after a short stint at the GE building, or 30 Rockefeller, for which Tina Fey's award-winning show was named. Before Belushi sadly died of a drug OD at age 33, he became an icon to hard partiers everywhere in Animal House, but not before making waves as the notably MPC, yet much-loved Samurai Futaba, Olympia Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger Diner owner Pete, and Blues brother Jake Blues, who still resonates with younger viewers today thanks to his immortalization in film. R.I.P. John. Mike Myers. Years active, 1989-1995 The Canadian comedian earned much love for his spoof of his real-life mother-in-law in her friends and coffee talk with Linda Richman, but Myers became a certified star and pop culture icon after taking his much-loved Aurora Illinois slacker and public access TV host to the big screen in Wayne's World. Back on SNL, however, audiences everywhere swimmed in unison when Aerosmith, back in their prime joined the two metalheads on stage for a jam session in one of the series' most memorable moments. Maya Rudolph Years active, 2000-2007 With a masterful ability to pull off just about any and every accent, Rudolph, who's African-American and Jewish, herself, was able to portray ethnicities across the board, Asian, Black, Latina, European, and without being subject to the same scrutiny as John Belushi. Thanks to her, the show was finally able to at least vicariously, get some of that much-needed diversity. She also sang wonderfully and knew how to wear the shit out of a pair of mom jeans. Kristen Wiig Years active, 2005-2012 In addition to earning herself a reputation as one of the funniest women in Hollywood with her starring role in Bridesmaids, she also co-wrote the script, Kristen Wiig gave uncertain viewers a reason to tune into SNL these days. Whether she was crying her eyes out to an Adele soundtrack or providing viewers with helpful tips as flirting expert Rebecca LaRue, her goofiness always made for a solid laugh, or two, or ten. Chris Farley Years active, 1990-1995 Unfortunately, even some of the greatest entertainers of our time wrestle with personal demons, and in 1997, five-season cast member Chris Farley died of a drug overdose, morphine and cocaine, in his apartment where he was found by his younger brother. While death can have a way of turning moderately talented performers into instant martyrs, Farley genuinely carried himself well, and his flair for comedy never went unnoticed, whether he was gracing the stage as Matt Foley, motivational speaker, making fake homoerotic beer commercials, or taking it all up beside Patrick Swayze at the Chippendales auditions. Tim Meadows Years active, 1991-2000 Trouble with the ladies? Who better to consult than Leon the ladies' man Phelps, the smooth creation of SNL's second-longest-running cast member, Tim Meadows. He might have looked like an escaped extra from a 70s black exploitation flick, but he always knew just how to woo the women. But proceed with caution, you might want to be selective about which of his one-liners to put into practice. If you attempt to tell a woman it looks like she's got two nice hands hiding in her pants, you'll likely get laughed at and then punched. Jimmy Fallon Prior to his talk show days, Jimmy Fallon used to catch a ton of heat for busting out laughing and breaking character in the middle of his sketches, a crime which scores him a beating from Peter Griffin in an episode of Family Guy, 
but we can't fault the guy for it. Imagine trying to keep a straight face while acting out the Barry Gibb talk show with added chest hair and crazy gold medallions or the more cowbell sketch, with Will Ferrell flailing around in a belly shirt. It just can't be done. Fallon's laughter always proved infectious, and often made us, and sometimes other cast members, crack up in the midst of scenes that otherwise weren't that funny. That said, the goal of the show, first and foremost, is to make people laugh. It's only natural the actors given from time to time. Besides, it made filming the show look like a blast. Molly Shannon. Years active, 1995 to 2001. Shannon, who joined the cast in the midst of Lorne Michaels' notorious 1995 overhaul, was a triple threat, funny, good-looking, and a prom at playing awkward characters you'd never want to get stuck in a social situation with, yet can't seem to avoid. The epitome? Mary Catherine Gallagher, the world's most unappealing Catholic schoolgirl, who can't stop shoving her fingers in her armpits, speaking in made-for-TV monologues, and being so damn quotable that Shannon's superstar movie feels like it's destined to haunt you forever. Norm MacDonald. Years active, 1993-1998. Another of the show's Canadian imports, Norm MacDonald was truly at his best when he was co-anchoring Weekend Update. The actor was never afraid to make controversial, silence-inducing statements, which made for great TV but are also rumored to have led to his undoing. Reportedly, McDonald's deadpan jokes about O.J. pissed off an exec who was friends with a football player. At least the jabs at Frank Stallone, Sylvester's younger brother, managed to go unchallenged. Rachel Dratch. Years active, 1999-2006. Even if Rachel Dratch isn't the focus of a particular skit, it's hard to take your eyes off of the Second City improv vet her expressive face and chameleon-like ability to inhabit and conquer roles as random as Elijah Wood, Ariana Huffington, and Harry Potter helped her steal the show on the regular, whether she intended to or not. Just consider that Debbie Downer sketch for a moment it's hard to believe that any cast member could have delivered the same laughs as Dratch during those close-ups, even with the ridiculous trombone effects. What can we say? She's got that Jackie Any say is qua. And, as that hip-hop kid sketch with Justin Timberlake also revealed, a shocking ability to dance that none of us saw coming. Phil Hartman. Years active, 1986 to 1994. Before the Emmy-winning SNL star was tragically shot by his wife, reportedly brought on by a disagreement about her drug use, Phil Hartman won audiences over with his badass celebrity impressions particularly Bill Clinton. McDonald's patrons had better watch their backs when Hartman's version of the former president is around. He'll shake your hand while swiping your happy mail right in front of your face. Daryl Hammond. Years active, 1995 to 2009. Before Kenan Thompson, Daryl Hammond was SNL's longest serving cast member, gracing the stage for 14 years. Though there are an endless list of impressions to choose from, with Hammond being known best for his tackling of political figures, we can't get enough of him bickering back and forth with Alex Trebek, Will Farrell, on Celebrity Jeopardy. Now if only we could witness a real-life showdown between the randomly matched haters. Andy Samberg. Years active, 2005 to 2012. Anyone who's ever watched Samberg talk to animals as Mark Wahlberg knows perfectly well that a spot on this list is well-deserved. In the event his awesome celebrity impressions, his Nick Cage is great, too, don't do the trick for you, though, Samberg and his Lonely Island collaborator slash SNL writers Akiva Schaefer and Yarmut Akon helped the show's digital shorts reach new heights of popularity, from their very first premiere of Lazy Sunday. Their efforts didn't go unrewarded, either, in addition to creating a series of music videos that became viral sensations one after the other, the crew nabbed a Grammy not for I'm on a Boat and an Emmy for Dick in a Box. Tracy Morgan. Years active, 1996-2003. Before Tracy Morgan would go on to breathe life into Tracy Jordan, the most beloved character on 30 Rock, he was killing live audiences and nationwide viewers simultaneously on Saturday Night Live. After joining the cast in 1996, he stayed on board for seven years, sparring with some of the actors, but unleashing some of the show's most awesomely quotable characters like Uncle Jemima, Astronaut Jones, and Brian Fellow. Dana Carvey. Years active, 1986 to 1993. Carvey's ongoing talk show with the church lady during his seven-year SNL run was easily better than half of the real ones out there, we'll take a marathon of hers any day over Carson Daly. In a typical episode, 
Carvey would chastise celebrity visitors for their crazy real-life antics in interviews that would give most PR reps nightmares. If only all hosts were so bold. However, those that didn't tune into SNL until later on might be quicker to recognize him when he's rocking a frizzy blonde wig, horn-rimmed glasses, and a flannel shirt as Wayne's World co-host Garth Algar. Dan Aykroyd. Years active, 1975 to 1979. Pre-Ghostbusters and pre-Driving Miss Daisy, Dan Aykroyd served as one of Saturday Night Live's original cast members, developing and perfecting characters that became fast classics. Some of them, like Belnar Conhead and Elwood Blues of the Blues Brothers, began to take on lives of their own, gaining such popularity from the movies that it was easy for fans of younger generations to forget about their NBC origins.